they show the money to my wife. Look, we got the money. We want to buy this phone. She gave him a phone. He no give the money. He just pinched the phone. After that, they saw doors locked. They broke the door and uh, ran away. Next day, a couple of guys coming outside my shop. I know them very well. He showed me my phone. Which one? Pinch from my shop. He said to me, this is your phone. Is my label on, sticker on everything. I said, yes. He said to me, I know you clever guy, but don't tell the police. You know that police can't do anything. But if you want to buy phone back, give us so much money, we we'll give you your phone back. So they know where I'm live. They know I'm walking every every morning from the home to shop. I don't know what we do. Do CCTV cameras outside, inside, security shutters and razor wire and police alarm. I pay 35 or 37 pound a month to the police. If anybody coming in, alarm is go off. Police and uh, the uh, security people inform me same time, me and police. So basically it's, it's nothing. And also I pay 30 pound to the guy. Just to look after me. So I pay about 60, 70 pound for nothing a month. The first thing this morning, about eight o'clock this morning, um, our delivery comes. We get it just out on the front, we get pallets of deliveries. Um, first thing this morning, even on the cameras, just playing us there, walk up, full box of eggs, just 360 eggs. 160? 360, 360 in a box. Um, just onto, onto his push bike, pedal push bike, onto his handlebars and off he goes riding down the road. No, Plain as days, if you know what I mean, doesn't bat an eyelid. I mean, yeah. we can report it and that, we can give it to the police, but it ain't going to go anywhere and we know it doesn't. Box of eggs, that's that's about £50. Pounds. You know what I mean? Someone's ordered their eggs off us, so then I haven't got it, I haven't got to buy it again to yeah. supply them. If you know what I mean, it's just a knock-on effect for everybody. Of course. If you know what I mean, obviously I know they'll go and they'll sell that box of eggs for £10. Pound. Yeah. I mean, you, you often get shoplifters coming in offering to sell you stuff yeah. that they've got from other places. So it just shows they have no morals of where they get it or where it goes, as long as they get the money for it. It is yeah. a big hit to take, it is, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then we have to find that money from somewhere else. £50 to us is half a day's wage for someone. Yeah. It, it's a big difference. Yeah, so many shoplifting around here. They take everything now. Beer, wine, and all the bacon things, cakes and everything. Oh yeah, daily basis. Week before Saturday only, we had six beer people shoplifting. Now we put a new CCTV and alarm you know, all, all around. We now put two staff all the time. Police phone can't do anything now. Well, even we phoned them for the smashing window and named him. They didn't do anything. Wasn't, See, wasn't, he wasn't caught. No, they. Oh, yeah, he wasn't caught. I had a taxi driver pull up here one day, put a wardrobe in the back of his taxi, drove off. But we had it on camera, so I went down to borrow taxi, asked to see the gaffer, and he said, "What's it about?" I said, "Theft." The theft of what? I said, a wardrobe. He went, eh? And I showed him the video. <laughs> and he got the driver straight in. So I only had it up for £45, pound, but because yeah. he'd stole it, he said, well, how much was it? Because it's in my house now. I said, £75. Pound. So he paid £75, pound, so I gave him a fiver back. I said, yeah, I'll just take the 70 <laughs> Treat him as they treat you, you know, if they take you as an idiot, take him as a bigger idiot.